dance vlogs every day in April. Is this thing on? Okay. Hello my friends, it's me, Professor Hans von Puppet. I'm back home, but it's been such a crazy week. I have so much to catch up on here in the office that uh, I'm going to try to do this on the iPhone. It works remarkably well, you know. Anyway, listen, uh, it's been a crazy week, like I said. Welcome back to day, I don't know, 12 or something of Vida, vlog every day in April. It's Friday. It's been a fun week. I was in Las Vegas all week visiting my friend Mr. Bob Torrey, which you saw him yesterday. Uh, I did a behind the scenes with Five Second Films, guys, because all this week I've been on Five Second Films right here on YouTube. Extremely, extremely fun. If you haven't seen those yet, you can find them and check them out. Now, I was looking at, um, you know, the last time I had a big, uh, a big, uh, crossover when I did my my Origin of the Universe show that was on Weezy Waiter and Weezy Waiter's fans came over in droves. I got about a thousand new subscribers that week. This week on Five Second Films, I have had a slower influx. They have a bigger audience too, so it's interesting to note. You know what does that mean? I love all of you who are my subscribers. I love all of you, all of you, just for giving me the few minutes to talk to you every day or whenever you happen to. To do it, I appreciate every second that you spend with me. You know, I um, I cherish each and every one of you. I really do. So anyway, how do I measure how much I should be cherishing? Because I I gotta know who is who is watching. You know, who is subscribing. This is how YouTube works. You see, people who uh, like something can subscribe to it, and then they automatically get the update. You know what I'm saying? They get this great thing on YouTube, the analytics, you know. I can see uh, how many subscribers I have, when they subscribe, when I got some, when I lost them, right? I got something like 1,600 new subscribers since January 1st, you see. But I've also lost 469 subscribers. So something I'm doing is turning some people off. And that's okay. Not everything is for everybody. So my net gain of subscribers is like 1,100, which is really super spectacular. I couldn't be more happy. So I'm looking down to see what has the most subscribers gained and what has the most subscribers lost. Okay? But let's take a look. If I sort by uh, the ones that have the most gain, I get the origin of everything, which you could find, which I talk about the origin of everything. That is a very nice video. I got like 200... 89 net new subscribers. Jessica Negri's Supercut, I got 62 new subscribers on that. Uh, well, my video with Weezy Waiter from last summer, I got 62, oh, sorry, 54 new subscribers there. My channel orientation. Those are the ones that came all around to Weezy Waiter time. Now, the ones that I lost the most subscribers on, I lost 14 subscribers on my Hans on Sex number 37 on Vibrators and Masturbation. I wonder what I said there that has turned people off. Maybe I take a look. Okay, I figured it out. That episode of Hans on Sex came out on March 11th, okay? What came out two days before? The Wheezy Waiter thing featuring me. So I got a bunch, bunch, bunch of new people off of my appearance on Wheezy Waiter. Awesome, thank you, welcome aboard. And then Monday came around, and the next episode of Hans on Sex came out, and, well, 14 people were turned off. I guess that's pretty good, you know, because that's some adult content there that is not for everybody. You know, you can't please all the people all the time. What do you think? You know, a lot of people think that maybe this is a program for children and that all of YouTube is really for children. I don't know. I think it's for everybody. I try to be relatively adult in my presentation, you know. I don't want to talk down to anyone. I want to be, you know, be smart. I know some of my fans are young. And actually, none of the stuff that's on Hans on Sex, while it is technically uh, age inappropriate for younger people, I stand by all of it, you know. And it's all stuff that I think that, uh, that people should know of any age. Because, you know, eventually they're going to be uh, sexually active, I suppose. And I think I'm going to give them some good advice to take and then use in the future. What do you think? What do you think I should be talking about on here? I know Hans on Sex is just about sex. That show may be evolving soon for a variety of reasons. But uh, I want to hear from you. What else would you like me to be talking about right here on Hans on Puppet on my channel? I keep looking out the window. It's nice here, isn't it? My normal shot, you can't see that because I, I don't pan over because it's on a tripod. But here I am. This is fun with the iPhone. I like it. So simple. Hmm. iPhones. Oh, if they were a sponsor. Holy God. Oh, Hans on iPhones. Oh, tell your friends. Okay, that's it, friends. I see you tomorrow. Maybe I see you on SourceFed tomorrow because I submitted that one movie review to SourceFed. If they use it, you see me here and you see me there. Won't that be delightful? Have a great weekend.